So I noticed the uh, top comment on the pound sand video is from California Guardian. <sighs> Apparently, I'm trying to give Salvaggio credibility by talking to him. Has anybody thought, I guess nobody thought how stupid that was to say. But thank you for the compliment, California Guardian, that I have credibility to give people, that simply talking to people gives them, me talking to people gives them credibility. I have two points to make about that. Point number one is that this is a First Amendment community, or at least the portion of it that I'm in. I'm not in the cop hating portion. I'm not in the sovereign citizen portion. I am in the First Amendment portion. And believe it or not, talking to people, that's what the First Amendment's all about. So you uh, get your panties in a twist that I talked to Salvaggio. Well, enjoy your panties being in a twist. I'm going to talk to whoever I want to. As far as credibility is concerned, um, this community has no credibility in the wider world. No credibility. This community is full of felons and asshats. which is what I've been working against this entire time. Mostly the asshats. You could be a felon and still be a good auditor as far as I'm concerned. Now, if you get in fist fights, if you assault security guards while doing a First Amendment audit, then, uh, then I'm guessing you're doing some damage to the auditing community. Salvaggio has all the credibility, all the reputation in the wider world. If Salvaggio died tomorrow, there would be an outpouring of grief and support from the community. There'd be blue banners tied everywhere. If you died tomorrow, whoever you are, or me, one of us died tomorrow. Crickets. Crickets. The community likes police. They don't like you. I know that sounds a little harsh, but it's true. The community likes the police. They don't like you. And Salvaggio doesn't need credibility in this community. You could look at it that way, but he doesn't. What does he need from this community? Uh, if he got everybody in this community to like him, would that lawsuit go away? No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't go away. What does he have to gain? Has anybody done that analysis? What does he have to gain? He doesn't have a whole lot to gain. At best, <clears throat> he might be just trying to bury the hard feelings. Get rid of some of the animosity. Uh, take down some of the us versus them attitude that is has built up between people who follow this community in Leon Valley. That's all I could think of. What does he benefit? I don't, I really don't think he benefits anything. Maybe, maybe, like I said, maybe he buries the, the hatchet, but that's it. Very little for him to gain, a lot for him to lose. <clears throat> he risks a lot by speaking. Anything he says can be used against him in that lawsuit. A statement by an opposing party can be used against them. Well, at least if Texas is... Actually, it would be, it would be the federal rules, so yeah. You could use the statement of opposing parties against them. So, he had very little to gain, a lot more to lose, but he came in anyway... And if, if that makes me an enemy of the community, fine. Like I, I'm not going to be part of a community where I can't talk 
to the opposing side. So there you go. And uh, it's nothing personal, California Guardian. I, I neither like nor dislike you. I have no hard feelings or ill will towards you or anybody in this community. Um, there, there are some people in this community I don't like, but, eh, you know, what are you going to do? I don't wish them harm. I just wish they'd stop lying to the community and stop stealing from the community. But I guess I'm a bad guy for that. 